Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. I am reviewing this PCB Hornet 160R BS4 edition the 2019 model. So guys, let's straight away see the front part of the vehicle. We get this nice full HD LED headlamp, the front. Let me switch it on for you to show the full functionality of the LED lamp. So this is the full cluster. This is the pass slip. High beam is switched on now. Maybe. Maybe. Coming to the tyre section, these are 17 inches. The tyres, front tyres are 100 by 80 section, and the diameter of the disc is 276 mm. And we also have ABS, a single channel ABS, in this 2019 model BS4 edition. And we also have the traditional telescopic shocks in the front. Now, coming to the engine section. We have an engine displacement of 162.71 cc of power which produces 14.5 PS of power and 15.6 Nm of torque. It has a single injection 4 stroke displacement. It has the Honda Eco technology in the BS4 edition. We also get a monoshock suspension at the rear. And the cross section of the rear tire is 17 inches cross section of 140 by 80 with a real disc diameter of 220 mm it also get uh, aluminium swing arm at the rear so coming to the tail lamp we get this nice x blade finish which is present in all the hornets also in the upcoming 2020 model bs6 hornet these are the reflectors of the vehicle the light indicator light bulbs which are halogen unfortunately when these are halogen so talking about the handlebar we get the indicator lamp switch here the headlight high beam and low beam switch the pass light switch the horn the ignition switch and the hazard light This is basically the gear meter which only shows the neutral meter here. So this is the instrument cluster of the vehicle. You get the neutral indicator here, the ABS lamp there. It's actually the high beam switch. When you switch on the vehicle, it will glow. And this is the fuel meter, digital speedometer, digital RPM meter. This is the total kilometers of the vehicle and you also get a small digital clock here you get two trip meters this is the trip a meter trip b meter the total distance so this is the information of the cluster let me switch on the vehicle now let me switch on the vehicle to show you how the instrument cluster works the high beam lamp now let me show you the exhaust note of the vehicle the rear view mirrors which are adjustable well 
but only to a certain extent. That is it about the vehicle. Talking about the ride quality, the suspension is quite on the stiffer side. The performance is good but it lacks on the lower end. The vehicle looks bulky but is quite nimble to handle in the traffic. And the ABS works brilliant.